Hey YouTube family, this is Get Out of the Boat Kevin, and I thought I'd uh, give you a gander at my rock and roll stereo from back in the 70s. Hey, old school rock and roll raw power. That's my Yamaha CR2020. She's a rock and roll beast. Yes, she is. And I thank God for her. Hey, I thought I'd give you a few of that old mid-70s or something there when they built them things over there in Japan. And that's a behemoth. That thing's like 105 watts or something like that. We're channel conservatively rated. It's got a monster amp in it. And it sounds good. Probably weighs about 60 pounds, man. It, it's gargantuan. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll go over here and take a look at my California Audio Labs Icon Mark II. That is my... Uh, American-made, old-school CD player from back in the 80s somewhere. They're no longer in business. Sorry to say they're out of business. Forgive me my shaky, shaky. But, uh, yeah, they used to put a... They had some kind of filters in them to kind of take that... Yeah, that digital harshness out of the uh, music and make it a little more analog sounding, and I like it. Got that off eBay. Anyhow, I thought I got my Yamaha stereo uh, receiver off eBay, too. And my folks, I got all this stuff off of eBay. That's my Pope Tens, man. Matthew Pope, he knows how to build speakers. And that's an old Pope Ten with the 10 inch passive radiator down there. That big sound, man, that's a nice sounding speaker. Sounds excellent. And I thank God for it, man. And that's Kim Walker Smith on there right now. Kim Walker Smith. God bless her anointed little sister. She is in the Lord. Kim Walker, and here is my song in the name of that kind of like a solo project she did apart from uh, Jesus Culture, I guess, and she is an anointed sister in the Lord, spent a lot of time in his presence, no doubt about it, and uh, God's all over her, God is all in her and through her and up and around and about in her, and I love her for that, and that's my stereo, I thought I'd just give you a quick little glimpse at it, anyhow, anyhow, we're going to... Turn it around here. Well, actually, I'm gonna turn around here, turn around here, turn around, and put her back on the old fire. We're stoking up a fire tonight. Yes, sir, we, Bob, we are stoking up a fire. It's not real cold, but boy, I take the chill out, and I just kind of like it. I just kind of like the old flames popping up in there. Yes, I do. Well, we're gonna turn the lights out. Go, go, out, go the lights. See you later. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, there we go. I just wanted to take the time to check in with my YouTube family because, uh, like I say, on some of my videos I've been saying, oh my gosh, oh, I'm ready to walk out, I'm ready to quit, I'm ready to throw in the towel, oh man, it's all done, I'm done, and I'm spent, and I'm, it's over. But I'm hanging tough, I'm hanging tough, and I thank you for your prayers. Uh, I know there's a handful of you out there that uh, some will, for some reason or another must be God. The love of God should have brought in your heart. I know you're praying for me, and I thank you. And I can tell the difference. I can tell the difference. I can tell when I'm being prayed for. And I appreciate it. And I thank you for it. And I just want you to know that uh, I'm praying for you too, man. Them narrow folks on that uh, narrow path. Or narrow folks, well, uh, those foolish things that are on the narrow path. I thank you for your prayers. And uh, it makes a difference. I believe in the power of prayer. And uh, praise God. Thank you. I know that uh, I probably wouldn't be here if it weren't for prayer. But I just wanted to take the time to check in, let you know that I'm hanging tough, that I'm being filled up, being filled up, that I'm being poured out and poured out every day at work. I'm being emptied out, emptied out, and I believe that there's a purpose for that, a purpose and a reason for all these trials, tribulations, and afflictions that we, uh, a lot of us are uh, going through right now. And uh, we're not alone. You're not alone. Nobody's, you know, we're not alone. A lot of the people on that narrow, restricted path are indeed facing uh, adversity. And it's all, it's all for our benefit. It's making us stronger. What, what do they say? What don't kill you makes you stronger? Well, it does. To a, you know, I believe it. <laughs> to a degree, you know, I mean, don't want to end up making me crippled, but uh, you know what? I know uh, that my work is making me stronger, making me a heck of a lot more dependent on my Father God to continually fill me up with His precious Holy Spirit to get through another day, another 12, 13 hours. And 
and uh, sometimes I might run out in that 11, 12, 13th hour, and sometimes the manifestations in this flesh ain't real pretty. But uh, you know what? I come back and I get filled up and I, and I beg for forgiveness for anything that might have manifested in the flesh that might have offended somebody and I try not to allow that to happen. But uh, you know what? Boy, I get pretty stretched pretty thin there sometimes and uh, I make sure I take care of all that stuff when I do group up. Might offend somebody, say something out of order, out of line. Something that's not uh, bringing encouragement and edification to a number three with human being. I make sure I take care of that. And uh, I'm just grateful to you folks on uh, YouTube. I am. I am grateful. And I'm thankful. You guys have been a source of encouragement and inspiration with your uploads and your videos. Uh, also with your comments and with your personal messages. We exchange back and forth sometimes. There's a handful of you that have uh, made a big difference in, in this man of God's life. Uh, you're like another, you're like iron, and char iron sharpening iron. Exactly. That is exactly what I am experiencing through a uh, handful of you. And I thank you. And I thank you and I give God the glory for uh, what you're allowing him to, to, to flow in and through you and uh, to be a source of encouragement, to be a source of inspiration within the body of Christ. And I just want to come alongside you and encourage you to continue on and doing so. And I just want to become one of them people that can be uh, used of the Lord and uh, be a source of encouragement, be a source of inspiration. Uh, you know, I just pray God would use me to uplift your spirit, man, because there's a lot of people out there that are weary, tired, and heavy laden. Well, you know what? I encourage you to lay your burdens on the Lord because He's Jesus. He's the one that was designed to, to carry those things. And I know a lot of times I'll, uh, I'll find myself trying to carry that load for too long and then I wonder why I'm all beat down and worn out and and uh and out of gas it's because I'm carrying the burden that was I wasn't designed to and I gotta give it to Jesus and I thank him for that. And uh just wanted to take the time to uh check in, let you know that I'm fine, I'm doing great, I'm I'm fine, you know I got another five hours in the salt mine there tomorrow so my week, work week's not quite yet over but uh saturdays are a little more laid back kickback and uh we don't push it you know pedal to the metal for 12 13 hours we just do go in and do our five get a few things done so monday isn't looking so rough <laughs> yeah we dig into monday's orders and maybe get a couple orders out uh local driver come pick up a few orders on saturday and, and that's about it. We just kind of get her done and try to dig ourselves out of Monday's hole a little bit. And that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And anyhow, I just wanted to check in and say thank you for, uh, for the prayers. Thank you for the encouragement and inspiration once again. And, uh, and I love you. And I love you very much. And uh, you changed in my life. I never thought YouTube would have, uh, this YouTube experience with uh, God would use it to change but it is happening and uh wow that's a wow thing the guy's taking this uh huh, i don't know this the enemy's playground this uh internet thing it seems to be uh 99.9 percent .9 of it's probably all used for garbage and filth and evil but uh, i thank god for the, the, the whatever percentage it is that uh he's using he's allowing his children to network together to, to, to meet up, to network with one with another and uh, to become two pieces of iron and sharpen one another. To become sources of inspiration and encouragement one to another. And uh, I'm grateful that we can use this uh, medium for that. And uh, as long as it's up and running, I hope that we continue to do that. And I hope God continues to use, to use this foolish thing peculiar thing to uh, be a source of inspiration to you, to be a source of encouragement to you, and uh, I just hope I continue to allow him to work in and through my life that it might make a difference in even just one person's life. If he can use me to make a difference in he's just one more person, maybe get one more person in the ark of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, then I think that's great, man, and I'm going to make myself available for that, and I thank God that you people are making yourselves available for that. And, uh, well, I gotta let you go, because this thing's about done. And then
And this is get out of the boat cabin saying thank you for stopping in my living room. I love you and the love of the Lord. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.